Hello everyone and welcome to this Python for Automation Testing Series. This is our 11th tutorial and in this tutorial we will learn about the assignment operators. So let's begin. Assignment operators in Python are used to assign values to the variables. So these are used to assign values to variables. The most common assignment operator you will see is basically this equal sign. Basically, this is not equal, this is an assignment operator. But there are several other compound assignment operators that can combine an operation with the assignment. Okay. So let's start with the basic assignment operator, which is this equal sign. So let me go to the PyCharm here and let me create one new Python file here and let me name it as assignment assignment operators okay so simply if we talk about the assignment we use the different variables and assigning the values to those variables so for example i say 5 a is equals to 5 so basically we are assigning a equals to 5 this means that we, are, we have created a variable a and assign a value 5 to it similarly we can say b equals to hello python so basically what we are done is that using this equal sign we are assigning values to the variables here okay we can also assign the multiple we can do we can also actually do the multiple assignments here so multiple assignments means that i will say a comma b comma c is equals to 1 comma 2 comma 3 so we can do the multiple assignments here as well now let's talk about the compound assignment operators they are different so basically when we talk about the compound assignment let me go to the notepad here and let me write it down compound assignment so we see there are different ones for example we have plus equals to so this means is addition and assignment so basically these operators combine an arithmetic operation with the assignment so arithmetic operation here is addition and we are doing addition and assignment similarly we have minus equals to so basically subtraction subtraction and assignment right similarly we have multiplication equals to so multiplication and assignment multiplication and assignment then we have division assignment so division assignment so division and assignment then we have modulus assignment so modulus equals so this is modulus and assignment then we have exponential and assignment so which is basically double static equals to so basically exponential and assignment and then we have finally a flow division and assignment so flow division is basically double forward slash and equals to so basically this is floor division and assignment okay so these are basically a compound assignments which are actually combined with the arithmetic operations now let's go to the patch again and now start working on these kind of assignments okay so <clears throat> basically what, what i'll do is that simply i will take a equals to five this is a simple assignment now i will say a plus equals to three okay and if i print this one print a here in this case so what sh it should print this is this is a thing which we need to understand here so what it should print because this a plus equals to which is addition and assignment so basically this is equals to a is equal to a plus 3 here so the value of a here is basically 5 
So 5 plus 3, 8. So eventually this will print 8 here. Let me run this one. And you will see that it will print 8 here. Similarly, if we talk about that particular, let me remove this one, remove this one here. Yeah, let me move this up. Okay, in a similar way, we can say, for example, b is equals to 10. Then we can say b minus equals to, for example, 4, right? So here, this means that we are saying that b is equals to b minus 4, which is 10 minus 4, which is equals to 6 here. Okay, let me copy this one and print this one here and let me run this one here. So you see that it's basically 6 here. So in this way, the multiplication assignment and other assignments will work in this case. So basically, if let's let's take an example of all these divisions and all the things which we learned. So simply, let me say d equals to 20 and d divide equals to 4. So here, what we are saying is that d is equals to d divided by 4, which is 20 divided by 4, which is the 5. So if I run this one, it will say 5. Let me print this one here. So it will say 5, right? Now, in a similar way, let's do the modulus. So let me take E is equals to 15. Then E mod assignment is equals to, let's suppose 4. So basically again, this is equals to E equals to E mod E mod 4, right? So let me print E and let's see what it prints. Let's run this one and see. So the answer is 3 because it's a modulus, like we are dividing 15 by 4 and we are saying that the remainder is 3 because 4 into 3 is 12 and the remainder is 3, that's why we are getting the answer 3 here. Okay, so now let's take the exponential example here in a similar way. So let's say f is equals to 2 and then f exponential equals 2, 3. So this means that we are saying that f is equals to f exponential 3. So this is what we are saying. So let me print the f here. And let's see. So it will print 8. Why? Because 2 power 3 is 8. That's why we are getting the 8 answer, right? And in a similar way, we can do the floor division. And let me take a variable g is equals to 9 and g floor division equals to 2, uh, which is basically equals to g is equals to g floor division. Two, right so if I print G here let's see so the answer is 4 because it will round off to the nearest whole number this is how the four floor division was we can also change the assignments chain assignments means that what we can do is that I can say uh, for example I will say you is equals to y, y is equals to q and q is equals to basically 10. So this is known as a chained assignment. And if I go here and if I print this one, so 
print and uh, what we'll do is that we'll print u y and q so it will print 10 for each variable so it will print 10 three times okay we can also swipe the variable assignments here what we can do is that simply if i say a comma b is equals to 1 comma 2 and i say a comma b equals to b comma a now i'm swapping the values here basically so i will say print and if i print a comma b here but we have swapped because we are saying that a is now b and b is now a so in this case a will have this value which is 2 and we will have this value which is 1. So run this one, you will see that we have printed 2 and 1. So basically, let me summarize this when the assignment operators are used to assign a value to the variables. We have a different compound assignments, we can chain assignments. When we talk about the compound assignments, we have addition, addition assignment, subtraction, multiplication, and so on. And these are basically used to assign the different values to the variables and make it a more concise and readable code. Thank you so much for watching this tutorial. If you like our content, then do like, comment, share and subscribe our channel. Once again, thank you so much and see you in the next tutorial.